welcome to your favorite Indian television show. It's Aussie Indian, of course, and thanks for your company. And this is the show which brings you the best of Indian from cricket to Bollywood, we say. Keeping up with that theme, we are going to bring you more cricketing news in segment one. And in segment two, we are going to take a look at all the Republic Day celebrations which happened in New Delhi in India. And in segment three, I'm going to bring you all the glitz and glamour of Indian fashion, including some Christmas celebrations which occurred in India. Let's get straight into the show. As I said before, we are going to continue with the cricket theme in segment one. And we all know that Ash Barty lifted the Australian Open Tennis Women's Championship trophy recently and made her first Australians community very proud. Another Ashley who is making the first Australians very proud is Ashley Gardner, who was named the Female Cricketer of the Year 2021. And here, Ashley Gardner is fronting the media to explain how she feels about this honour. Let's take a look. Um, a very big honour to receive the award. Um, to be honest, I never would have thought that I'd be um, the recipient of it and to be the first ever First Nations player to, to win it is also a huge honour. Um, and, yeah, I was pretty taken back yesterday when I got the phone call that I was the recipient. Um, I had to question whether they were sure that it was me that, that was winning it. But, yeah, it's such an honour and um, absolute privilege just to be playing cricket for Australia, which is, um, yeah, one of my lifelong dreams. I think it's it's been a mixture of things. Obviously, I've uh, probably matured quite a bit off the field, um, which I guess, yeah, has an impact on the field as well when um, you feel a bit better in, in your skin. And um, I guess, yeah, I feel really comfortable within this side. Um, I've known, I guess, what my, my role has been and I've been really clear in um, the direction that I need to do when I go out to the middle with either bat or ball in hand. And, um, yeah, I just think I've probably enjoyed parts of it over the past two years as well, obviously. It's an absolute privilege playing cricket for Australia and, um, yeah, every time I get to pull on the green and gold is an absolute honour. So I think I've just been enjoying playing for um, Australia, to be honest. And you mentioned in, in your first answer about being the first First Nations person to, to win the medal as well. Um, it, it's been an incredible summer, obviously, with Scotty Boland as well, his performances in Melbourne and the, the Johnny Muller medal. What does that mean to you to have um, your culture, your heritage so incredibly represented across this summer and can, will continue to be represented with the next generation coming through? Yeah, um, it's been fantastic to see, obviously, Scotty um, get the opportunity um, to play for Australia and to, to take that with both hands and um, yeah, have an absolute um, massive Ashes um, series. And yeah, I guess I've always spoken about um, for young, aspiring First Nations kids wanting to play cricket, um, they need role models. And I think in the past, there hasn't been those role models for those kids to, I guess, want to look up to. And um, you can't be what, what you can't see. And um, I think now that there's more First Nations players coming through, um, it's an absolute honour to be a role model for those kids and, um, yeah, hopefully encourage them to want to play cricket. Thanks, Lucy. Hey, Ash, uh, just to focus back on your batting uh, for a, a moment, um, how do you think you've evolved there over the last year or so? And has it has been part of the process been to stay true to your natural instincts, but make sure you make the most of them in the middle, if you know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. And I guess that's the clarity that I get within this group is no matter the format, um, don't change my game. And when we're coming into this test match, um, Matthew Mott pretty much said, you're going to be coming in at seven. So your role doesn't really change whether we're five for not many or five for heaps. Um, yeah, just playing my natural game, I, I think is really important for a player like me um, who can obviously tend to be more um, aggressive than other players. And I feel like when I shy away from that, that's probably when I get myself in a rut. So I think, yeah, the most important thing for me is just to, to stick to my guns. And I know you touched on the lean one you had in the WBBL last week for the test match, but is there, and I know no player wants to go through a run like that, but is there a sense of satisfaction when you come out of it the other side like you have in the last couple of weeks? Yeah, absolutely. And um, yeah, like you mentioned, obviously no, no one wants to go through those patches, but I think it's good for, for people's careers to, I guess, not hit rock bottom, but go on that slight decline to then actually find the confidence again and, and find the rhythm back in your batting. Um, cricket's such a funny game because it's obviously very um, mental and um, yeah, you can find yourself in some pretty dark places when you aren't in the best of form. And that was certainly me. And I can openly ad admit that my mental health probably wasn't great at the end of the big bet. End of the big bash, sorry. Um, 
And yeah, I think just going forward into the WNCL season, I just tried to take a lot of confidence out of that. And then coming into this series, um, I was certainly really nervous going into this series, but um, I think just having the backing of all my teammates and all the staff is really important as well to, to find that confidence again. Hey, uh, Ash, con congratulations. Um, uh, just, I guess, a bit further on that, just sort of watching down in Adelaide, when, when you're in the nets down there, you you actually looked like you were really, really frustrated a lot of the times when you were batting. Was that the case? And I just, I guess, going into this, you said you were nervous and I bet you had the full faith of, of teams. Was that frustration a reflection of just sort of how you or the faith you had in yourself or how you were feeling um, coming into this? Um, oh, I mean, there's probably always times when you watch people in the nets or watch batters in the nets that there's always going to be frustration when you're not middling everything. Um, I feel like coming in, like I've mentioned before, there was a lot of faith from the staff um, just to play my natural game and um, they obviously showed that faith selecting me in this Ashes series. Um, and, yeah, I guess you are in your own head a lot when you are out in the middle or when you have bat in hand. And I think it's just not trying to overcomplicate things. And um, I have a tendency to overthink things that aren't actually that big of a deal. So I guess going forward for me, even in the later parts of my career is just, yeah, just trying to simplify everything because you watch the best batters around the world. They just keep everything so simple and try not to reflect on all the negatives. Um, there's plenty of things in cricket, obviously, that you can take positives out of and sometimes you reflect on the bad days rather than the, rather than the good thanks lucy um congrats ash um, you talked a bit about kind of finding your way out from some of the lower spots do you find that um when you're bowling well it helps with your batting or, or reverse and kind of that contributes in the field as well um i like to think so um i know there was a few games there in the later parts of the big bash where um, we got to bowl first and I either, I don't know, took a good catch or bowled, bowled well. And then I was like, cool, this might replicate into my batting, but um, yeah, it just wasn't to be, I, I think all rounders like to think that that's happening, um, but it doesn't always. And that's the beauty of being an all rounder is um, you have to try and work on all three skills um, a lot of the time. And Sometimes you can get caught up in, I feel like I was getting caught up in doing too much batting stuff because it, it wasn't going my way. So you're probably doing too much of it. Um, but yeah, some some days when you're having a good day, you're bowling and you're batting and you're fielding are all on. But um, yeah, not all the time, that's for sure. Uh, congrats, Ash. Uh, could you talk us about uh, talk to us about how good it has been to have uh, Mitch Stark around the team at various points through the course of the summer and uh, uh, what kind of conversations that goes around uh, with him in the nets, you know? Uh, yeah, he's always great to have around the group. Um, everyone obviously knows him pretty well. And um, I think just from the experience that he has as a test cricketer has been really good. Um, I know the day before the test match, I was chatting to him about um, just some fields and um, I, I was trying to ask him what Nathan Lyon does um, when he gets the ball in hand and just different tactical things. Um, so, yeah, I think from that perspective, him playing a lot of games and a lot of test matches, we could, we could really lean on him for the tactical side of things. Obviously, I do a completely different skill to what he does, but just, yeah, to hear team tactics, um, yeah, he's just been really helpful and he's a great guy just to have around the group as well. There you go. That was Ashley Gardner, who is celebrating her uh, nomination as the Female Cricketer of the Year 2021. And we are going to bring you more interesting cricketing news in our future episodes as well. Look out for that. But don't go anywhere, because after the break, I'm going to bring you all the Republic Day celebrations which happened in India and also the new release Bollywood movies. Uh, stick around.